Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit the notification bell so you know when your girl about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line. I love to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting a chance to know me. Even if it's just about you finding out about you being a Hayoka, or even if it's just about the content of the video, or you just like to give me a kind comment. I love the positive feedback, and thank you so much. And if you feel like you resonate with the video, or you enjoy what you heard, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share it. That would be greatly appreciated, too. And thank you so much for coming out to, to see about my video today or even just about my channel. And I hope you don't be a stranger. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Thank you so much for the, for the comments and the love and support that you give me each and every day. I am so grateful and eternally and externally grateful for those kind words that you tell me. Even if it's just about letting me know about you. I'm just... I love that. That's just a blessing because it gives me a chance to know you more. So I do appreciate all those things. And namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you too. And thank you so much for the love and support and coming to see about me today. And I'm listening to positive energy vibration, meditation music for inner peace, balance, and inner healing music oh my gosh this thing is so peaceful because it has me in a good place it really does i love to listen to things that puts me in a good place you know um today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okus is it hard for you to find love or fall in love you know you could have been through so much trials and tribulations i know it got to the point where I just didn't trust people anymore. And it's just like, if I knew my family would do this to me, no telling who else would do stuff stuff like that to me. And it's just on my journey, I've really seen people's faces. True faces. And I mean, it could, somebody could really mean dear to their heart, but it's just like, if you're not in that place yet, like, I'm, I'm good mental, but it's just like, I know what I want. I know what I'm going to deal with and what I'm not going to deal with, what I'm going to play with and what I'm not going to play with. So it's just like, I really don't feel the need to be really dating right now. I'm just trying to heal myself, find myself out, and then I'll be able to go to that next stage, you know, and I, I just have, um, you, you know, I, I just, when it's ready for me to go find love like that, you know, God put it in my place, put it in my place fit for that to happen. So until then. I gotta work on me, work on my videos, do what I gotta do to please me, to make me happy because it's like you need to be in a good place. You need to really be in a good place before you try to jump into a relationship. And I used to do things like that. Like I would get into that position where, you know, I would have a bad breakup and I would date somebody else just to get over the other one. But then you're making the next one pay for the stuff that you went through with this one and this one and this one and this one so it's really hard to find love like that and especially when we've been through so much stuff and we're able to read people so it's just like you know you, you don't want to have that situation because especially if you're a helper that has really bad trust issues and your vibes are all messed up and you're not able to uh tell the difference between somebody being, you know, because some people can be naive to that point. I used to be that way where I can be naive to that point until I start looking from the outside in. And that's why I'm just like, you know, there's people that come at me and I have to keep it real with them. I say, you might be a, a nice person today. You really are. And it's not about what nationality you are because I feel like if you're a type of person that makes me happy and I make you happy and we respect each other's honesty, communication and boundaries and stuff like that, that's it. That's all that matters to me. It don't have to be a certain grace for me to deal with you. But it just, I know what I want. I know what I want. And it's just like, you know, I had a friend ask me, you know, how do you deal with sex? How do you, when you know what you want, what you'll deal with and what you're not, you're not going to deal with, then you'll know that whatever that you're waiting for, it will be worth that wait. It will be worth that wait because it's not no purpose for you to get into a situation and end up having a heartache when you see all these red flags 
popping up left and right. You know, people don't want to text you right back, you know, or you, they could be busy or something like that. But then if they start coming up with all these excuses and, you know, not really want to tell you if they want a relationship or if they're considering one, they might be considering one, but it not, might not be with you. You know, it, 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 you just never know. But it's just like in my, my time right now, it's just like I appreciate the compliments that I get from different, you know, I get them from women and guys. You know, they're like, oh, you gay or whatever. I'm like, you know, hey, I don't discriminate against anybody. It's just how you treat me. But it's just like I'm not ready for a relationship right now. It's just I'm healing right now. I'm dealing with a really complicated life. So I'm not trying to add nobody to that problem because, you know, that's a lot to dump on somebody. So it's, you know, and it's just, you know, it might be hard for you to find it or whatever. But just know with love, you, you never know. When you're looking for love, you never know. Love can be looking for you too. Love can be looking for you too. That's why I stopped looking. Because when you stop looking, that's when things, you know, God will give you that present just like I made this, this person specially made for you. And that's how I feel. But it's just like you've been through so many abusive relationships where it's been narcissistic or, you know, it could have been something where it's physical, emotional, or mental. That's a lot to deal with because you will put up walls like it's not even funny. Because you will feel like each and every person that you come across is this person going to do the same thing that somebody else did. That's when that healing process comes in to where you can be able to discern and be able to know. You know, after dating somebody for a while, not giving it up, because, I mean, hey, <laughs> you might find that one that, you know, that might got you like that, but then that's where you mess up at, because you never really know what you're dealing with when you sleep with them. And, you know, I had a friend tell me that one time, you know, get a chance to know them first before you start jumping in, you never know, you could be jumping in and sleeping with envy or something like that. So, you just gotta be, make sure you're mentally prepared, emotionally prepared to be out there on that day to day. So, I hope you are able to resonate with something in my video, you know, I know how it is to be lonely, you know, even though you might, you might be an introvert. I like to be alone, but it's just the fact that you don't like to feel the fact that you're being alone. But, that gives you a chance to get to know yourself more and more and just know what you, what you withhold is very precious to you. And you just know that it has to take that special person to be able to deal with the things that you deal with. So just know that. So when you stop looking, just know they might be looking for you too. So I hope you are able to resonate with this video. I hope you are able to get something out of it or whatever. Um, I will keep you in my prayers. I hope you definitely keep me in yours. Um, this is right now it's most love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I will talk to you later. I was just acting to me anyway. But yeah, have a blessed week. I will keep you in my prayers. Like and subscribe. Even hit, hit the notification bell. Drop me a line. But yeah, you know, spread the love. Give people blessings. You know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't cost anything to send love out there. No, it doesn't. Um, and I will talk to you in my next video. Stay blessed. Peace. And be wild.